But on top of it, the Mexican government is so evil, they're about to forcibly inoculate all the girls in their country with a vaccine known to kill people and sterilize them. God help us, man. God help us. All right, we're going to go to pharmacist Ben Fuchs here for the balance of the hour. And I've had big breaking news from down here at the border uh, here today. I've also got Federal Reserve news coming up at the end. And this war news with Iran, they definitely want it. But the good news is people in government are blowing the whistle on it and trying to back it down. We'll have more on that on all of it tonight, 7 o'clock. I'll be on my own show with Aaron Dykes co-hosting it with me in full wars. Nightly news uh, coming up this evening. Uh, I wanted to get Ben Fuchs on again because now they're openly saying they're going to go after anybody selling vitamins and minerals. Now they're saying they're going after anybody selling food on a street corner uh, or tomatoes or whatever. Now they're going after all the lemonade stands. It's all about totally cracking down. And I wanted to talk to him about the attacks on vitamins and minerals and this attempt to forcibly inoculate people and get his view on what inoculations are doing to people. We're about to go to break, but Ben, great to have you here. Just putting bookends on this, sitting there the last 15 minutes or whatever you've been holding. What did you think of uh, our report from the Texas-Mexico border where a failed state is now collapsing into the United States? Well, you know what? Uh, I, always, I always do this. I follow the money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. I see who's benefiting from, from uh, any time there's something going on in the news and any time there's some kind of scandal going on, any time we see something about the police state or encroachment of government, I want to know who's, who, where the money, who's paying for all of this and who's benefiting from a financial standpoint. And somewhere along the line, you're going to find bankers and somewhere, somewhere along the line, you're going to find industrialists and somewhere along the line, you're going to find big corporations and you're going to find the people being screwed. And that's usually what happens. That's right. They get their huge profits out of conflict because they're attacking both Mexico and the U.S. People think of wars as one side or the other. The globalists play people off against each other. That's why they're in control, only a few thousand of them. Uh, ben, we're going to go to break here, but how would you fix in just a sentence what's happening in Mexico? How would I fix what's happening in Mexico? Well, first of all, I would. Uh, we have to, as individuals and as uh, as single citizens, we have to understand that the government is not here to protect individual rights. They're there to protect themselves, as all establishments do. So we have. Stay to there. We got to go to break. We'll come back with more on that on the other side. The answer is arm all the Mexicans with fully automatic weapons. What has allowed? This crisis in Mexico to take place is a disarmed population with a limited population that's armed, corrupt government, a public trained to give in to corrupt government. And then when another corrupt mafia comes in and starts fighting with the other mafia, civilization ends. And that's what's going to happen to the United States. That's where this country is headed. And um, you got big special interests coming in. Big Pharma, Big Agra, openly lobbying in Europe and here in the U.S., and they've done it in Europe, to start restricting vitamins and minerals over the counter. They're telling uh, uh, pharmacists, compounding pharmacists, real pharmacists all over the country, who can you know give you regular drugs or also old-fashioned ones, they, they can't compound basic things anymore. They're shutting down their competition. It's all about big cartels shutting down their competition, and then now you've got the Occupy Wall Street people, Ben. And I want to get your take on this, and we'll get into the latest attacks on vitamins and minerals with you. Uh, coming out and just saying, yeah, redistribute. And then Obama represents says, yes, I want to redistribute. But all he wants to do is redistribute the middle class's money, like Herman Cain wants, with new taxes to the Federal Reserve. What is it these redistribute people can't get? I mean, it's, it's admitted now the Democrats are running this. You know, they're, they're a product of this infantilization of humanity and especially of Americans that's been going on for the last 60 or 70 years where everybody expects the government to take care of them. What my message has been and is, is consistently has been is that individuals have to take the ball in their, into their own court in terms of health. These Wall Street people, uh, Occupy Wall Street people, have to, be, have to begin to produce something, have to begin to create something, have to begin to uh, um, create some value and so they'll get Get compensated in equal measure to what kind of value they're creating. They're out there screaming, give me this and give me that, and the government should be taking care of me, and I'm not getting taken care of, and Wall Street should be redistri redistributing their wealth, and it's not fair. Get out and do something and create some value. Put something back into the culture, and that's what I see when I see these kids screaming, is I see people just saying, me, 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 give me more, give me more, give me more, and it's just the logical end result of this infantilization of Americans that has been going 
going on since the, at least yeah, the they're, New they're Deal. They're domesticating us and it's shutting down our entire society. And as we get more globalism, more collectivism, they scream louder saying, give me goodies. It doesn't deliver it. Collectivism delivers North Korea, China, and places like that, and, and Russia. They've got to get it to their head. Now, we're going to go to break here in a moment. Long segment coming up. But I just wanted to get you on because there's so – I see articles every day now where the system's SWAT teaming people and raiding them and going after vitamins and organic food and well, not wanting us I, to be able to label stuff that's not organic and trying to force vaccines on us. I mean, this is a war. People have to ask themselves, why is the government so interested in bringing armed SWAT teams to people who are selling sweeteners or people who are selling herbs or people who are, sell who are contributing information on how to use these things? Why is the government so vested in protecting their interests that they're willing to send armed uh, SWAT team members to, to little old ladies who are selling uh, stevia? What are some of the other big trends you're seeing? I mean, I know you're the real expert on this. I just see it everywhere. This 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 well, full the, out of the salt. latest thing. The latest thing is now the uh, Food and Drug Administration is interested in regulating new dietary ingredients. They're making it tougher and tougher for supplement companies to come out with new and better supplements, and they're not doing it outright. What they're doing it, it they're doing it by changing the way that uh, that these companies label and the way these companies announce their new ingredients. So a company will announce their new ingredient, the FDA will. Hold hold on to the announcement and hold on to, to the application if they deem that this new supplement is somehow a threat. So that's the latest thing. Now it's not just sup now it's not just regular supplements, it's new supplements that these companies want to come out with, new dietary supplements. It's called the uh, uh, it's called the NDI, the the uh, uh, new dietary Meanwhile, they've got the new freedom act. initiative that Bush started where they said they want to put half of kids on psychotropics. Now Reuters is reporting, this is up at infowars.com, doctors want to diagnose ADHD HD made up uses because you're eating unhealthy food starting at age four yeah if I give my kids coca-cola they suddenly get ADHD or if I feed them you know uh, MSG they suddenly get out of control it's called you know being being uh, having trouble in their brains chemistry now they want to make your kids in school at age four be diagnosed so they can force deadly speed on them diagnoses, these mental diagnoses, do you know how they come up with them? They vote on them. They, a bunch of psychiatrists get together and determine that they're going to make up these new names for new diagnoses and they put them together in a book called the, the DSM. The latest DSM is going to have new diseases like obsessive shopping disorder and excessive internet use disorder and all of these are going to be medicated. So the, the mental diagnoses are the most insidious of all the disease states. All, I mean, to me as a, as a pharmacist, all disease states can be boiled down into either the body building up or breaking down, but chemical imbalances in the brain is some marketing term that a drug company invented. There's no such thing as a chemical imbalance in the brain because the body's, the brain's chemistry is always changing. There's no one balance to the brain's chemistry. Well, the that's like the diagnosis. global warming people now teaching school kids that seasons are abnormal and that any weather change is abnormal. I mean, this is ridiculous. We'll be right back with Ben Fuchs. Great point on that. I'm going to go back to that, Ben. Your brain's always changing. You know, uh, more and more the problem I'm having is being able to cover it all. When I first saw Citibank refusing to give a woman her money who was at the bank last week, I thought, that, you know, there's no way I just saw that. And now we put an article up this morning from George Washington's blog that's got a, a scores of videos. And then I went and did a search and found a whole bunch more of Occupy Wall Street folks uh, who actually went out and, and, and went into Citibank, Goldman Sachs, well, that's more of a brokerage bank, but they've got bank accounts too, uh, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, and demand their money. And they just say, no, get out of here and call the cops on them. Uh, man, I mean, I, I don't have that much money, but you know, we've got a sizable sum in bank accounts to run Infowars.com and pay the employees. Uh, I guess if they had a gold counting house in town, we could pay them in that or something, but... I mean, it's just getting to the, points where you, uh, to the point where you can't trust the banks, you can't trust any of it. And these kleptocrats are running the entire society. They're devaluing uh, the currencies. Uh, ben Fuchs uh, is our guest, pharmacist. Ben, you were making a really good point there uh, as we went to break that they say any, any change in the brain is an imbalance. 
when you get depressed or whatever, they've got all these studies where natural foods, vitamins, minerals that you have talked about. In fact, perhaps you should talk about it. In double-blind studies I've seen are many times better than Prozac or those variants of serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And those studies have been out for decades. In fact, ser uh, the serotonin reuptake inhibitors are linked to increased suicide. Now they have to put it on the insert, whereas what St. John's Ward I know actually helps because it's natural. Um, but then they want to restrict that. But, I mean, I've always felt if I get a little sun or I'm kind of down in the winter, if I go climb a hill somewhere uh, or, you know, go clean out the garage, I feel great. Or if I uh, just get out and have some fun, uh, then I'm not depressed anymore. Uh, it's the times I hadn't been taking action in my life. Probably the two years I was in college, and my, my mind knew this was worthless. I wasn't learning anything from this. Uh, I needed to quit doing it. As soon as I just went out and quit college and got a couple more jobs and started my media operation, I felt great. I've never felt bad since then. If I do something wrong occasionally and think about it later, I feel guilty as soon as and depressed. As soon as I admit up to what I've done psychologically and spiritually, I feel great. I mean, But they're telling you you should never feel bad. They're saying we want to drug all of our soldiers. Well, because they feel bad about what they've done. Well, they, sh they should just repent, and then you won't feel bad anymore. I mean, what can you say? About, I mean, you really hit something key here. Just like the global warming people say, they're now teaching school kids, we've shown this on the website in news articles, that seasons are, aren't real, and, and, and I mean, aren't normal, and that you shouldn't have changes in weather. Uh, that any change, that any weather change, any climate change is different. The only thing that doesn't change is change, uh, Ben. We're treating normal conditions like uh, sadness and depression as if they're medical conditions. Nobody gets a serotonin test when they go into the psychiatrist's office and has a blood test done to see how much serotonin is in their brain. They make up this term chemical imbalance to imply that something is wrong with your brain. The brain is always changing, so there's no chemical balance to be imbalanced in the first place. And then to take a poison, and make no mistake about it, Alex, these things are poisons, whether you call them uh, pharmaceuticals or whether you call them medicines or whether you call them drugs. I call them poisons. When you knock out a system as fundamental as the serotonin system, this is one of the most fundamental systems in the body. And when you block reuptake of serotonin, you're playing with fire. And as a pharmacist, I can tell you, I'm not surprised when people on SSRIs go out and shoot up the school or, or shoot up the military base or commit suicide. You are playing with fire when you start to tweak your neurochemistry. In addition, well, isn't serotonin it, aren't serotonin reuptake inhibitors, I've read the insert, aren't they in the hallucinogen psychotropic class? The, the uh, hallucinogen, hallucinogens LSD and LSD, uh, drugs like LSD work with the serotonin system in the brain. But Alex, most of the serotonin system is not even in your brain. It's in your digestive system and it's in other systems of the body. So when you take a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, it's not only affecting your brain, it's affecting your entire nervous system as well as your enteric or gut inter uh, nervous system as well. You cannot take a drug and simply expect it to be a magic bullet that's going to be directed to your specific symptom. In addition, what we're treating are not even diseases, Alex. Every four or five years, psychiatrists get together and they vote on what the latest new diagnosis will be. And today, In we fact, have they've hundreds. come out with more than 20, I know, because we've read them on air before. We've written news articles about it. We're not liking government corruption. That's not right. trusting government that's, is a mental illness. That's uh, it's, right. you know, defiant. Uh, Defiance you're mentally disorder. Ill. But let's expand on that because you just pointed out I've seen cases of this where somebody has lead poisoning, mercury poisoning, some type of industrial poisoning. They're acting crazy, and the system will just commit them uh, instead of actually testing their blood and helping chelate it out. I mean, this is just incredible. It, it, it's, it's, it. Take all the pink program everywhere. Breast cancer, the highest in the world in the U.S., next in Europe, all the places where they vaccinate, all the places where they have GMO. And instead of looking at why this is happening, they just say, let's raise money to find a cure. Well, I mean, that's like saying find a cure after a truck runs over you, you know, for, uh, you know, how to cure somebody being run over by a, a Mack truck. How about not being run over by the truck? How about we look at why this is epidemic? Because again, the fa this is such a blaring crime, but it's in plain view that the system never wants to find out why you're having this problem. They want to, quote, treat it, showing the whole system is designed to not actually help you, but to treat you. Alex, Kentucky Fried Chicken sponsors Race for the Cure. 
Okay, that's the people who are paying for Race for the Cure, the people who are causing the disease in the first place. Look, Alex, you cannot expect to eat the way we eat, and you cannot expect to be as nutritionally deficient as we are and not end up with breast cancer and not end up with degenerative diseases. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. And so the message that I want to promote and that you're helping us promote is the idea that if you take care of your basic needs, your God-given needs, such as oxygen and blowing out carbon dioxide and making sure you're getting appropriate nutrition, you're not going to need the race for the cure. You're not going to need the serotonin reuptake inhibitors. You're not going to need to interface with the medical model and the medical community. And you'll be, have more power and more uh, 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 clear-headedness to be able to fight this. And that's the message here. And the only way to do it is to participate in your own health. The human body is a healing system. It is designed divinely to heal itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. It doesn't need doctors. It doesn't need drugs. It doesn't need hospitals. It doesn't need insurance companies. It needs good nutrition. It needs solid food. It needs clear air. It needs clean water. It needs to be able to, to blow out toxins through carbon dioxide. It needs a functioning liver. And short of that, we are condemned. Short of that, we are going to be walking into the, uh, the hospitals and the, and the pharmacies and we're going to be enriching the medical model and we're not going to be able to have the wherewithal to fight this kind of tyranny. Well, uh, you're absolutely right, uh, Ben, and it just gets crazier and crazier how they're trying to force this on people. I haven't talked to you in a month or so on air since California and the governor signed the law to let them brainwash young children without their parents knowing and quote get them to consent to the deadly Gardasil shot which they admit on its own insert doesn't even protect you uh, from the cancer it claims it's helping you from but then they showed newscast of them going to homeschoolers doors and saying we're here to give your child a shot it's the law so they'll come tell parents it's the law to take it when it's not the law then of, obviously they're going to tell the kids it's the law and force them to take it. I mean, this is this is reaching like the forced sterilization level, like we saw in this country under eugenics. Uh, what's your view on that? How should that be handled? Here's my view on that, Alex. When when you and I were growing up, did you hear of the human papilloma virus? Was there a problem with the human papilloma virus with, with girls in your school? Did you ever hear of any kids in your school having the human papilloma virus? I didn't. Okay, the problem is, is that our immune systems are so shot because of the crappy food we're eating, and our immune systems are so shot because of our lack of basic nutrients, like vitamin C, and like the B complex, and like good protein, that everything that comes along, we become a victim to. Uh, viruses and bacteria cannot exist in a healthy, powerful terrain, a terrain that has an immune system that's strong. So our job as individuals is to make sure that our bodies have the strength to be able to withstand bacteria, withstand viruses. We live in an environment in competition with these things, but we have an immune system that has been divinely given to us that is able to, in an intelligent fashion, select these bacteria and select these uh, viruses for destruction. We have cells and we have chemicals inside our body that can specifically target viruses, viruses can specifically target bacteria, and our job is to up regulate that system. Almost everything we do on a regular basis in terms of what we eat and how we nourish ourselves doesn't, not only doesn't upregulate the system, it almost specifically shuts the system down. Every time you eat a teaspoon of sugar, your immune system becomes compromised for hours and most of us are eating on the order of 20 to 30 of these teaspoons every day. Of course we're going to become victim to bacteria and viruses, but the answer is not Gardasil. The answer is to change the way we treat ourselves to upregulate and maximize and build up our body's inherent healing properties and our body's inher inherent defense systems, the immune system. We shouldn't need Gardasil. We shouldn't need these vaccines. We need to learn and we need to understand how our bodies work. That's the most, that, that's the most dire need we have today is understanding this magical system, this divine system called the human body and understanding how it works and understanding and now, how it works. Uh, uh, pharmacist Ben, as the public begins to learn about this and, and, and tries to get back to basics, the system is coming in trying to regulate it and shut it down. And at this point in the interview, uh, I want to just uh, put the pitch out to listeners that this is a win, 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 win. I researched for years, and I've been exercising a lot more, and I've lost about 10 pounds the last three, four months, and I'm trying to get in better shape. My wife is really loving it. 
she's gone on the entire line of Longevity products that are available at InfoWarsTeam.com. And we have banners up at InfoWars.com, but it's simple. InfoWarsTeam.com. And when people do purchase, uh, whether it's heart health, general you know, uh, vitamins, minerals, healthy energy, B vitamins, the fish oil, uh, the essential fatty acids, uh, it's all there at InfoWarsTeam.com. When you purchase the high-quality products uh, that we've researched and that you know, Ben has endorsed, then your purchase also makes this radio show, the news show, everything we do possible uh, because uh, InfoWars team is something that is a huge sponsor of our show. Uh, in fact, I've taken it in-house myself because researching it, I think it's the best system out there bar nine. Ben, let's walk through for people because as you pointed out, what's so exciting about this is that people who are in horrible shape, who've been working too much, too long, who have horrible nutritional deficiencies, who don't have the right minerals and vitamins and trace elements and things that are so key, when they start taking Beyond Tangy Tangerine and Pollen Burst, when they start taking the essential fatty acid uh, systems, uh, I mean, I have a family member who had eczema. Talked to you six months ago. You said put them on essential fatty acids. They did it. The eczema's gone. Uh, Ted Anderson's father didn't even know who he was. Just got him on the essential fatty acids. Got him on the Beyond Tanning Danger Green. His memory was suddenly back. He was doing great. He'd go fishing with him again. The doctor said, uh-uh. Uh, he's on Cumadin. He can't be taking that Beyond Tanning Danger Green that has natural minerals in it. It could throw him off. So they took him off of it, and he's back again. Again, the doctors are actually, no, do not take vitamins and minerals. That is evil. Oh, and so, I mean, Ted says I can tell that story, even though it's painful for him. This is the type, and, and then I even had uh, Dr. Russell Blaylock on about how deadly statins are and how they trigger Alzheimer's and literally eat the brain, and because and, the brain's made out of cholesterol, folks. And uh, I did that interview just for Ted to give it to his family, and they just said, basically, we don't care. Our doctor says it. The statins stay. Uh, all this stuff. I mean, my dad's a dentist, but he's done a lot of research. He got my grandmother off uh, statins. She suddenly, uh, you know, has a lot more life and energy. Uh, describe the, the, the products uh, at InfoWarsTeam.com, uh, and then break down for people... Uh, uh, what statins are doing, just an example. All right, real quick, the statins are a very fascinating subject because they are a real boon for the pharmaceutical industry. They, they've been making billions upon billions of dollars in profit alone on the statins since they were first introduced almost 15 or 16 years ago. The idea of the statins is that they're trying to target one specific enzyme system whose, whose uh, end result is cholesterol, but what they miss is there's about 10 steps in between and every one of those steps is blocked by these statin drugs. So it means that your body can't produce a lot lot of vital chemicals, including cholesterol. Never mind that cholesterol is probably, arguably, the single most important biochemical in your body. It's a precursor to vitamin D. It's a precursor to all of your steroid hormones. It's a precursor to cortisol. It's required for, the, uh, for, for healthy cell membranes. It's required for brain function. There's no way you can knock out that system and not expect side effects. What's worse is, when you take a statin drug, you keep your body from making other things, not just cholesterol, including co Enzyme Q10, which is one of the most vital of all the non-vitamin systems in the body, non-vitamin compounds in the body. So the bottom line is, is when you take a statin drug, you're you're blocking your body from making a lot of things, including cholesterol. On top of that, nobody's ever shown that elevated cholesterol is the cause of heart disease. We know it's there. We know there's elevated cholesterol when you have heart disease, but nobody's ever shown that it's the cause of heart disease. On top of that, the reason cholesterol gets elevated is because people are eating too much sugar when you raise your insulin levels your cholesterol will go up so there's a simple way exactly to well, from the doctors cholesterol. i've talked to and, and, and i'm talking brain surgeons endocrinologists they say fats are what make your skin your arteries they say it's chemicals and things and sugars that boost it that actually clog the arteries then cholesterol goes up to try to lubricate all that and then it becomes all gummed up and That's that, right. You know, my dad, uh, in his own words from researching it, he's like, it'd be the perfect chemical weapon. It's an aging weapon. It attacks your entire system and, and almost creates an artificial form of scurvy. But Dr. Blaylock and others have said it's probably one of the most devastating things out there.
If you are on a statin drug, just try this. And by the way, you were talking about Ted. Ask Ted what happened to his cholesterol levels when, and his triglyceride levels when he started on this program, okay? It's an amazing story if you don't know nutrition. Now, knowing nutrition, I'm not that amazed by it because I know that's what's supposed to happen. If you're Within on a statin drug... Within months, his dad came back. What's that? Within months, his dad came back. That's right, just by taking B vitamins and essential fatty acids. If you're on the statin drugs, I will tell you right now how to lower your cholesterol without the statin drugs and get off your statin drugs. Number one, first and foremost, lower your insulin levels by eating less sugar. How do you eat less sugar? Up your protein, get on a good protein supplement. Secondly, get yourself on essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. It's a powerful, powerful strategy for helping lower blood cholesterol. Get yourself on the B vitamins, get yourself on vitamin C, you'll find all of this in the longevity products and the healthy uh, the uh, uh, Alex Start Pack, I think they're calling it, which is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate EFAs, and the Osteo uh, the Osteo FX product. Just those three products alone, Alex, can have a dramatic effect on cholesterol and allow you to get off of your statin drugs. And Absolutely, we're recurrent. saving lives here today. InfoWarsTeam.com, folks, and your purchase also supports. The show here, and if you become a member, you can get bulk discounts uh, on ordering it. Again, InfoWarsTeam.com, and it's also a great business model in this faltering economy to help people at the same time. We'll be right back, InfoWarsTeam.com. What's amazing about this is, you know, taking Ted's dad's story, and we can help other people by telling the story because Ted's allowed us to. And believe me, behind the scenes, he's really done a lot of research. He's the guy that got me in the longevity because of this. Is that the doctor went and tested the blood, and because it had higher minerals in it, so we can't have minerals that high. And vitamins with this cumidin. So the cumidin, uh, I guess the blood thinner, even though he's never had a stroke, the blood thinner, that's a, so important, you can't have vitamins and minerals. I mean, as a pharmacist, Ben, uh, how how can doctors be anti-vitamin and mineral and and say it doesn't matter if he's got his memory back? He's got to go off of it, and then people like these are messiahs follow the doctor's order. This idea that doctoring is somehow akin to God. Uh, it's not. Doctoring means patching things up, and doctors are trained in how to patch things up. When you doctor something, you jury rig it. You, you tie it together with bailing wire and bubble gum. Doctoring is about jury rigging the body to make it look like it's That's like why it's when votes get stolen, they say they doctored with it. That's right, or your taxes are doctored. See how far that gets you with the IRS when you doctor your taxes. Doctoring is, it means to fix something so it appears to be something that it's not. And so we have this, this model, this doctoring model that gives us of the appearance of health. It gives a, it's not about healing. Doctoring is not about healing. That's the point. Doctoring is about treating. There's no drug in the world that can heal. This is why the FDA doesn't even allow you to use the cure word. Because according to them, you can't cure anything. According to the medical model, the body is inherently flawed. And the best thing to do is In fact, they even say vitamin C you can't say is a cure for scurvy, even though it's been known for 500 years. You don't get vitamin C, your skin disintegrates. It's not that it's a cure for scurvy, it's that it eliminates it. Because scurvy is caused by a deficiency in vitamin D, or in vitamin C. The point Exactly, is a cure is like almost saying that you deserve that to sick. have it or something, or yes. like it should be there. Exactly. It's what about brushing your teeth and flossing? That's a cure it to gum cure disease. Cavities. <laughs> right, exactly. Brushing your teeth doesn't cure gum disease. It, el it eliminates it. It keeps it from happening yeah. in the first place. And that's what nutrition does. Doctoring is not about that. Doctoring is about patching things together so that you can get by for 70 or 80 years and then die. And that's the way well, the that's medical that's why it is great for heroic care like a broken leg or a bone now, sticking different. out the side of your leg. But it's not good. But you come in with a heart problem, they just give you drugs to, 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 to mask it. That's right. We are so bamboozled and hypnotized by the sizzle of emergency medicine, which obviously heroic medicine has done a tremendous job. And if you get hit by a car, you want a surgeon, not a vitamin. But as far as degenerative disease goes, the body knows how to heal itself. Our job is simply to give it the raw materials to do its work. It's as simple All right, well, let's stop that. right there then. Look, I know that if people will just try, say, Beyond Tangy Tangerine with all the vitamins and minerals, everything you need, that little scoop every day, that... that 
lowers your cravings to eat. That's how I've lost some weight is that instead of just pigging out and, there's, and it's, it's the minerals and vitamins aren't in the regular food, you just, you just take the vitamins and minerals and fatty acids. That's how Aaron's lost like 40-something pounds, folks. He's totally following the longevity plan and listens to Ben Fuchs every morning the hour before I come on here at Genesis. And it's really working, and I'm trying to follow it, and I do most of the time. Uh, today, I actually was brought a hamburger for lunch. <laughs> That's all right. I certainly enjoyed that evil. And as long as you only have some of it, it's okay. The point is go to InfoWarsTeam.com, InfoWarsTeam.com, and uh, whatever your issue, the answer uh, is there with the research, with the vitamins, with the minerals, with the exercise, InfoWarsTeam.com. And when you become a member of the team, you get discounts on bulk purchases, or you can just purchase straight up. Ben, I want to hold you uh, five minutes to the next hour of overdrive, then I'll be back tonight, 7 o'clock. Central with InfoWars Nightly News. But I wanted to get a few more tips from Dr. Ben Fuchs. Dr. Ben Fuchs. We're talking about doctoring. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs is is a real doctor of vitamins and minerals, but he wouldn't want to be called a doctor. He's Pharmacist Ben Fuchs. We'll uh, go to a uh, break here in the official main radio show, but come back audio streams only. All right, it is our final segment. I will broadcast from South Texas on the Mexico border again tomorrow. And then uh, we will uh, return after that to Central Texas. Aaron Dykes is sitting in on InfoWars Nightly News tonight, 7 o'clock at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. But I'll also be on the show tonight via Skype bringing you InfoWars Nightly News. Again, I just want to thank the great crew that we have, you the listeners and supporters, our AM and FM affiliates, our sponsors. Uh, but Longevity uh, is a product I've researched uh, it, it really has led the way in the last 20 years, and so much of what it has done has been copied, uh, which is great. But we put together in one spot when I did the research of uh, the best products out there, and I found a uh, supporter and person that promotes longevity, pharmacist Ben Fuchs, uh, and uh, picked his brain. And so we have him on occasionally to, uh, to cover the latest news and also promote uh, the products we're offering. That's what I believe in. Uh, free market, we offer good products to you. Uh, and then uh, that supports getting the overall word out. And then uh, you, of course, get better health uh, and uh, longevity. Uh, so InfoWarsTeam.com. Uh, in closing, uh, pharmacist Ben Fuchs, breaking down the things that don't doctor you, don't patch something up that allow your body to be like it's supposed to be, uh, healthy and uh, with uh, more uh, longevity. Mention some of the other great products that are at InfoWarsTeam.com that people should check out. Ultimate EFAs, this, well, the BTT is the first one, and you mentioned that, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. The Ultimate EFAs are probably the second most important, and then the probiotic product, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, and the Ultimate Enzymes, because, Alex, if your digestive system is not functioning where it, where it should be, everything else you do on top of that is going to be like trying to bail water out of a leaky boat. The key to wellness is in the digestive system, and any kind of digestive symptom that you have needs to be figured out and needs to be eliminated. One of the most important things you could do... If, in fact, if you only did one thing, aside from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I would tell you it's a good probiotic supplement, good bacteria for help reestablishing the, the col uh, colon's bacteria, a good bacteria responsible for protecting you from cancer, for helping your body process fats, for helping your body make the B vitamins and vitamin K, and also for helping detoxify and process food. So uh, having uh, imbalances in your colon via uh, in terms of bacteria will have a negative effect on almost every single health system in the body. and Helping take care of that is as simple as getting on the uh, floor, the uh, Biolumin Nightly Essence or the FlorFX product. The Ultimate Enzymes as well, not only are they important for digestion, but uh, digestive enzymes are anti-inflammatory. If you have arthritis pain, if you have knee pain, if you have hip joint pain, if you have any kind of inflammatory pain, digestive enzymes not only will help you digest your food, but they also act as anti-inflammatories. And then the Ultimate Multi to get you all your basic multiple vitamin needs. And there's also a lot of great skincare products, you name it there. Uh, but, but, I mean, it's really simple. They weaponize the food, the water, the GMO, the additives. We get sick. They extract our money and wealth out of us, basically right. just keeping us alive, patching us up uh, you know, as miserable creatures. They don't, Obviously, as a medical industry, they don't want us to know how our body is supposed to really work. It's up to us, Alex, and this is the bottom line, and, and it, we come full circle to how we started off the program. It's up to us to take the ball into our own court, not to rely on 
the medical community, not to rely on outside authorities. We are our own authorities. The human body is a healing system. We all own one. It's pre-programmed to heal itself. Every time you cut your finger, you can watch the healing process take place. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to participate in it. That same healing process is in place in every system of the body. All wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. The, the FDA the should come out and say, your body's not allowed to cure itself of a cut. We need to have the doctors come and somehow just just keep it bloody for life, but put a bandage on it and you know, treat that instead of letting your body heal right. it. Your body can't heal from a cut. What type of extremist that, are you, Ben Fuchs? Yes, that's the logical extension of how they want us to think. But the bottom line is they cannot control that biochemistry. It's ours for now. For now, because probably they're trying to figure out a way to do it. But for now, it's our biochemistry. We need to figure out how to give it the good stuff well, and not give it the bad stuff. Beautifully thing. said, Ben Fuchs. I look forward to, uh, on you back on the show and also sitting in in the near future. I'll be back tonight, 7 o'clock, InfoWars Nightly News. Don't forget, InfoWarsTeam.com. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. <laughs>